Come shopping with me in Primark. Let's take a look at everything new that they've got in store together. I am Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now let's go shopping. Wow, I'm getting some really bright, lovely summer vibes. It's currently absolutely freezing today. The day that I'm shopping, it is February. It is cold outside, but all these bright, pretty colors not making you feel super summery. Oh, especially these. Imagine the weather being nice enough to wear something sleeveless. I actually love that color. So these are eight pounds for these little sleeveless dresses. I mean, that is like holiday or height of British summer kind of wear. These are seven pounds. Perhaps we could get away with that a bit more spring, although it is very, very thin. That's very thin fabric. I was thinking that could be like a, a with leggings kind of thing, only that is, that's super sheer. No, that's kind of summery. Anyway, those are seven pounds. Loving the kind of color blocking bags to go with it too. Oh, I love this color. I can't imagine ever being warm enough to wear that. Here you go, here we go, on the model, eight pounds. I'm pretty sure when I was little, this is the kind of thing my mum would have worn to a dinner dance with my, my, when my parents got invited to things like that. And I was like absolutely in awe of, of the dresses that she had like this, kind of cocktail dresses of the late 80s, early 90s. Whether I could pull it off or not, I don't know. Or whether I'd have any to wear it more to the point, but I kind of love that. It's so pretty. Okay, this kind of sporting wear, I feel like this could be a bit more wearable a bit sooner. This colour is beautiful this purple this kind of bra top i'd probably want to wear something over it but it's nice to have a kind of a an exercise workout top bra thing as well then it's got this oh a thermal so this is if you're actually going like running i wish i was the kind of person that could do running i just i can't do it i feel silly i look silly and i get bored i would love the idea of being the kind of person that was a runner though and if i was the kind of person that was a runner i would want to wear this i'm definitely more of an indoor exercise kind of girl We've got this darker selection of exercise wear, this kind of camouflagey pattern one. This is like a sheenier material, and these are eight pounds. I've got to say, it's nothing like nice exercise wear to make you actually want to work out. Not running, as we've established, but you know, like yoga and stuff. That's kind of a bit more my speed, or dance classes. And then some classic black, which you cannot go wrong with. These are really like a thin material. If you like, get really hot working out. These are 14 pounds with a matching like top and zip up jacket set. Then they've got this lovely baby blue. One thing that is striking me actually is all these seem to be quite different designs. They're not just the same fabric with a different print. They're actually different designs and very different fabrics. Like that is a thicker fabric than the black one. So this pale blue set is 11 pounds. Oh, but no surprises here, the pale pink. Maybe more of a dusky pink, isn't it? A dusky pink is my favourite. And oh, it's got pockets. Leggings with pockets, it's the goal. Okay, these are definitely the favourite. They are also £11. Or perhaps these. This is also a different dusky pink. This is more like a lavendery dusky pink. Now these are more what I would call like yoga pants in that they've got like um, a non-legging bottom. You know, like leggings would be like that. These are slightly more boot cut, really comfy. To be honest, if wear those not working out, just kind of hanging around in the house. I can't get over how big their kind of athletic exercise wear section is. It's huge. Got these grey, I think these are cropped. These are £10. They're more of the blues and navies too. Ooh, and more pink. These are kind of ribbed, not shiny. Nice fabric. Feel a bit more like tights perhaps and then a really lovely selection of gym towels oh and we've run into what looks like it might be the disney 100 collection yes it is look 100 years of disney can we believe it so these trainers are 18 pounds kind of good for running around the parks i tend to prefer well i don't know i tend to wear when i'm going on disney trips the I guess low top not high top versions but they're always Primark trainers and they're always pretty darn comfy. I tend to find if you are going somewhere like a holiday we've got to walk a lot you want to wear them in. If you put a dryer blasting into your shoes and then you walk around the house uh, with the shoes kind of moulding to your feet as they, they cool off that's a really good way to break them in and avoid blisters. Random top tip no one asked for. Okay so we've got 14 pounds 
for original since 1928. And then Mickey Mouse, the original since 1928. And Walt Disney signature, that's more of a cropped jumper. That's 12 pounds. Then we've got this hoodie, 14. That's, so that's a hoodie with a hood as opposed to a sweatshirt. And then some jogger bottoms. How much are the joggers? 12 pounds with the mouse that started it all at the bottom. Then we got some Disney 100 kind of Converse-y pump type things. Angry looking Donald, Mickey Minnie. And those are 14. And then this nice kind of weekender overnight bag. I had something very similar, obviously it wasn't Disney 100, um, but a very similar type of bag for when we went on the Disney Magic at Sea cruise last year. No, the year before now, 2021. Uh, so that's 22 pounds. Cute little hidden Mickeys all over it and a little Disney purse attached to it as well. And then a matching, I'm guessing that's like a crossbody kind of handbag or purse. See for me, purse would mean like a wallet. Whereas I think if you're one of the other American viewers, purse would mean like a handbag, like that would be a purse. Whereas to me, that would be a handbag and a purse would be something I'd put coins or cards in. When you hear purse, what do you understand it to mean? And where are you based in the world? Really curious to hear. How adorable is this little wash bag? Eight pounds. That is lovely. Do we need one of those for an upcoming Disney trip? Oh, and I love these too. Everything is better with you. And a little slot out bag as well. That's eight pounds. Can never have enough. Like little organization bags, especially when you're traveling. Oh, and these trainers. Do I need these trainers? These are Disney 100 Primark trainers. Question is, do I need a pair of these for an upcoming trip? What do we think? I think my last like dark trainers are pretty good for the next trip. I'm trying to do the, the arithmetic of which videos are going out when. I think by the time you see this, I've already put out the uh, trip announcement video over on my Disney channel um, and let you guys know that we're actually going back to Disneyland Paris, probably for the last time of our annual passes, um, but for February half term, Welsh February half term, which I believe is different during the February half term. Anyway, we are going back. So if there are any bits and pieces I need for that, then I need to pick them up. And if I've got those dates wrong, I've just accidentally outed myself before the announcement video went out. Wow, look at these mini ears. Now I had a pair like that, exact, almost exactly like that. These are Disney 100 ears. I had a pair that were Shop Disney and they were like Shop Disney price. I think I had mine in the sale, but like these are £3.50. That is a flipping bargain. And then 4 50 for these. I actually prefer these, which are cheaper. And then these, which are three pounds. Look at those rainbow ones, they're so sweet. And then scrunchies, the girls love scrunchies. Three pound 50. Lanyards, good for, you know, wearing park tickets, passes, that kind of thing. Three pounds. And then a sweet little bag, which is kind of just big enough for a phone. And that is six pounds more Disney 100 collection. I've seen these quite a bit over social media. It's it's a little bit shinier than I thought it would be. William has a similar Disneyland Paris jacket. This, yeah, this has definitely got more of a sheen to it. So look at the back, 32 pounds, cute. Walt Disney. And then we've seen this cropped hoodie and the joggers. We have not yet seen the orange t-shirt, which is eight pounds. Oh, and then Disney 100 jewelry. So rings, four pounds with mini bows, hidden mickeys, all sorts of cute Disney rings, Disney earrings, and little Mickey keychains. Oh, these have got letters on them. Okay. It's always difficult to find the right letters. Like, ah, oh, I could get R for Rhee, but I can, you often get a Buffer Bella or a Woofer William. Getting a Zuffer Zara often proves to be a bit of a challenge. Let me know in the comments if you are one of those people with an initial or a name you can never find when you're purchasing things like this. Like my my name, Re, is Rhiannon, spelled off anyway, so I can never find my name in things like this. Oh, back around to these bags we missed earlier. These are 14 pounds. So there's like two little inner bags and the outer bag. Just as an aside, nothing to do with Primark. Look at my bizarre Raynards on my fingers. That finger has gone absolutely, it's like deathly cold. Isn't that weird? Not even sure it's showing up much on camera. That's a bit cold as well, but that one, can you see it's a different color? That's Raynards, people. How random is that? It's literally not even cold in here. A bit more Disney bits, and then we will move on to some non-Disney stuff, don't worry. I know not everyone is here for the Disney. Just gotta show what's in Primark. I really like this. The Disney 100 dudes on the jumper. We need one with a price. Nine pounds. That's really cute. 
Do I need one of those? Kind of snuggling up in the house. Then we got the wonderful thing about Tiggers. We've got Simba. I was looking everywhere for Simba last year, wasn't I? Uh, just before we went to Walt Disney World, because we're staying in a Lion King suite. Could I find Simba in Primark then? Nope. And here he is now, I don't need him. Never mind Simba. We've got Stitch, another Stitch. Uh, what's this? We're into Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. And then some more of these classic Mickey, Donald, Pluto, Mickey and Friends. Oh, the Dalmatians on green are so sweet. I haven't seen anything like that before. Bella would go mad for that. But this is all the adult stuff. It's gonna be a bit big for the children. We'll definitely go and look at the children's section soon though. Oh, I like Minnie winking. I'm not sure about that. Look, like what's going on with his hands? That's confusing. We've got, is this? That's Minnie Mouse. Look, Minnie Mouse hands and bows and things. Oh, Tink. Tink is so cute. And then we're on to the Simpsons and oh, look at this. See, Zara would go mad for that. She loves Marie, but again, not in the children's section. Maybe I should just get them for myself and wear them for the children. Then we've got Pooh Bear. I do have a very similar Pooh Bear um, Primark hoodie from a few years back. Pooh Bear on green, Mickey and Pluto. And oh, I love that. See, it's mini. I love the sketch drawing and I love the colour, obviously. It's pink. And then like another classic Mickey. And I think these are the joggers. They were on the hanger over there. And then T-shirts, Mickey. I really like Tink. I really, really like the Tink one. Do I need a Tink one? So that's Mickey's bit in colour, bit not coloured in. Oh, together since 1928. Oh, cute. And then we've got kind of all the gang, all the gang, and then Snoopy and Tasmanian Devil, and Friends. Friends merch is everywhere these days, actually. I love that. Good morning, Minnie. <gasps> Chip and Dale. My kids are big Chip and Dale fans. They've got so much Disney in here, guys. So apologies if you're not like here for the Disney stuff. I promise we will get on to like the non-Disney stuff in Primark as well. And I do get, I always get someone going, great, this is too much Disney in Primark. This belongs on the Disney Channel. But and I used to think, oh, does this belong on my Disney Channel? Am I allowed to put it here? But do you know what? Um, this stuff is in Primark and I'm just showing you what's here. So if it's too much Disney, sorry. Just, just skip ahead to the non-Disney bit. <gasps> Look at this, it's so cute. In Trouble Again, Chipmunk Chaos. That might be my favourite. So they were established in 1943. I love that. What's on the back? Oh, that is stinking adorable. I mean, do I need any more Disney sweatshirts? Probably not, but uh, maybe. Okay, moving into some beauty stuff, some of which is also Disney. Like, there's quite a lot of Stitch. Or oh, it's not Stitch, is it? That's Angel. But I've got to say, one thing, maybe an unpopular opinion, one Disney thing I'm not a massive lover of is the whole Stitch Angel thing. I just don't get it, if I'm honest. Just don't get it. But if you are a Stitch slash Angel fan, they've got these all sorts of, like, cute, like, beauty blend dress things. Very pretty, just not my fave. Oh, my Mickey and Minnie, this is more my speed. So what's that? These look strange, I've not tried these. That's like a very spongy sponge. Are those worth a go? And then a beauty blender and holder. That's so sensible for traveling because you've got something to keep it separate from all your other makeup to stop it getting all gungy. Oh, a hair detangler. That, I bet, is actually a really good type of brush. I've had brushes like that before. I bet that would work. Oh, look. Oh my goodness, no, actually, take it back. I've never had one like that before. I might have to try that just to see what it's like. Do you, what do you reckon? Shall I try that? Very cute little gift set. Is that the same? Oh, do you know what? It might be. I've been on the lookout and I didn't love it just because it was Disney. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but there was a lip balm. It was in like a, like a cardboardy case. It had Mickey and Minnie on the outside. It was the best lip balm ever. It was just, I wonder if that's the same formula that they had in the other one. Might have to try it, open it and have a look. Oh, I really like these reusable makeup pads as well they're very cute Ooh, and if you're into brat my girls haven't got into that but if you are they've got beauty blenders and other brats beauty products as well and what are those oh, gel eye masks i'm not sure i want them with brats all over them but is that to keep your eyes cool and deep puff they look good three pounds primark are always doing well with the harry potter stuff these clips, I haven't got Harry Potter ones, I've got plain ones and I've got Disney ones, but they are amazing. I use those every day now to keep my fringe out of my eyes to do my makeup. Ah, I've got to ask, what is a dry shampoo mist as opposed to a dry shampoo? Is it different? Is it the same? I need to know what that is. Has anyone tried this? Then they've got dry shampoo for both blonde and brown hair. So I'm assuming that is quite coloured stuff. So I can't imagine that would do very well on my white pillowcases. Ooh, that could be messy. 
I'd love to know how good these hair straightener sets are because they are only £16. Maybe I should buy them and try them. Is that an interesting video to do to like compare bargain beauty tools and see if they're any good? I won't necessarily pick that up today, but let me know in the comments if that is like an actual video that you would like to see me do. And then maybe I will purchase a few of these just to see if they're any good. Like this, what's this? A multi-barrel set. Is that for curling your hair? £24. I'd love to know if that's any good. And is this supposed to be a dupe for the Dyson? Eh, right. At £16. Again, please do weigh in the comments if you got one of these, if you've seen one of these, if you know someone with one of these, if you know anything about these. I'm getting increasingly curious. And this, like, that's pretty standard looking hair dryer. This looks fascinating. A hair waver. Cute for Valentine's Day. These no marks clips. I've got, like, much more standard shaped ones but the heart ones are really pretty three pounds the girls would go mad for these different little hair clips look like heart butterfly clips and slides and all sorts just all the pretty colors oh, and that is so really pretty i can't imagine when i'd wear it the girls would love it really like the sparkly ones as well always drawn to a bit of sparkle oh oh i see they're kind of a bridal shower section team bride that makes sense now so the bride could wear that and all the bridesmaids could wear those on like a hen night that'd be so cute oh and then they've got sashes as well okay i get it now bride to be yes they're bridesmaids things for hendus and to some more kind of make a pea beauty stuff what is that a fragrance balm as in it's perfume watermelon perfume is that what that is tropical fragrance i think it is you know look she's putting it on her neck £2.50 to kind of just, and a coconut one. Coconut would smell holiday-ish, wouldn't it? That would be good. These are matte lipsticks. Are these supposed to be like dupes for the Kylie lip kits? Anyway, if you're looking for a matte duo, they are four fifty. Lip balms in little tubs. I personally, and let me know where, where you weigh in on this, I personally prefer a lip balm in like uh, a lipstick kind of format so I don't have to get my fingers all gunky. But you know, let me know in the comments what's your preference when it comes to lip balms. I must admit, I've always got dry lips so I'm kind of addicted to lip balms. Maybe again let me know if this would be a video you'd be interested in seeing maybe i should just purchase a load of this stuff one day and test it all buy and test a whole load of primark makeup is that something you'd be interested in in seeing just testing out what's good what's not what's a hit what's a miss let me know if you want to see that video oh wow guys if you're looking for press on nails they've literally got every color under the rainbow it just this display itself makes me so happy look at it going through pink yellow green through to indigo violet is so pretty so pretty so if there's any color you're after try primark because they got you covered see i haven't got any of the primark brushes either but they look so close jeep wise to the real technique brushes i'd be really curious to see how they work maybe if i'm doing that video about makeup i should get some primark brushes as well one thing i have used a lot um are they like sponges because I feel like a sponge is something I don't really want to spend a lot of money on you want to throw it out before it goes kind of moldy and disgusting because as much as you rinse it out I've seen videos online of people cutting the sponges in half and whatever the price of them they've gone disgusting so Primark like beauty blender esque sponges I can highly recommend now if this is not trying to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury product I don't know what it is that looks like the packaging for the Charlotte Tilbury like powder as in the face powder but inside I know it's a heart and the Charlotte Tilbury one is a circle so it looks like a nipple but that is trying to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury isn't it packaging of the powder inside of the blush would love to know how it actually performs as an actual blush though not just the packaging then they've got my perfect color tinted moisturizer i've not tried many of their face products other than the one that is heralded as a dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and oh my goodness and if that is not trying to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury beauty light ones not the same on the outside but is the same oh wow that, okay that's manky looking one but that's the inside let's see if we can find one to actually have a look on the inside that one's broken uh right this one's been opened let's take a look yeah look it's the same sponge tip applicator and everything so that is that it's a cream contour that is a cream contour guys okay i might have to try one of those just to see if it is any good buildable coverage cream contour what <coughs> color is that is it just one color it might just be one color are they different colors of contour nope just the one do you know what how much is that 450 that's worth a go isn't it do you think and then this luminous finish cream blush okay that one's a bit manky but we, can we can we swatch it okay so 
So that is the blush. Definitely trying to be like the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know how the product itself is going to perform. I know everybody complaining when buying the expensive Charlotte Tilbury versions. All the beauty bloggers all over the world complain about the applicator. And clearly, I've been trying to copy it. And this is how they end up. They've got this eyeshadow palette. And wow, Primark is really going for it to try and do Charlotte Tilbury. I think Charlotte Tilbury do them in these threes. And she calls them day to night to desk to disco or something. And then Primark are calling them dawn to dusk. But that is definitely trying to dupe the packaging and the formula well just have to try it on eyes really to see the difference but I'm not sure how the colors are going to perform but the packaging Primark's really trying to copy Charlotte Tilbury then we've got more of these real technique style mini brushes these palettes look a bit kind of like the MAC ones packaging wise anyway Ooh, now I've seen these eye patches for deep puffing in various places but lots of them look very expensive 150 for one of those should we try that and then what is a bubble sheet mask I'm really curious now I don't know if this rolling your face with rose quartz thing does anything but I do have one of these and it definitely feels relaxing um, and if you don't want to spend a lot on one they've got them for four pounds in Primark never disappointing with the bath bombs just always remember guys don't buy a color that adds up to brown when you chuck it in the bath because you will regret your life choices and they're varying prices whenever I ask the children to choose a bath bomb in Primark some of them are one pound which are equally pleasing as the ones that are more expensive so it's not really worth spending more than a pound on them that one for example is one pound thirty it wouldn't be any more of a satisfying bath than the one that's a pound I absolutely don't need any of it but I love all these acrylic storage containers that's a little cotton bud dispenser so cute cotton wool storage and just this look it's all stackable and everything oh drawers and stackable bits i love it these headbands are lovely the girls have these put putting the hair up and off their faces for in the bath but i really like these that one's so cute it reminds me of sweets and this one is kind of reminds me of unicorn girls would love those although they do already have a fair amount of hair bows to hold up the hair for the bath taking a look at swimwear now I, it feels a million miles off swimwear season in the uk anyway but if you've got a holiday coming up or you think you're ahead to actually sunnier times i always find when i actually need swimwear there's none available so probably now's the time to buy it now call me boring but my favorite type of swimwear by far is this kind of thing one pick kind of a little bit of uh, support around the bust and feels like it kind of sucks you in and makes you feel good and I always end up going for like a black option because I don't know I guess it makes me feel comfortable but if you actually want to tan nicely this would be a nice sensible option nice bit of ruching super flattering and a little bit of bust support but no strange strap marks what do you think guys it does it have like halter straps as well i actually feel like this is so out of my comfort zone but i love this it feels like very i don't know riviera chic i <laughs> love it i actually adore these little primark shorts i do wear these a lot around the house and even to bed in the summer they're super comfy oh how cute is this color love that do i need those maybe now as a teenager I used to like yellow because I was obsessed with getting tanned I know don't judge me we know now that's bad but as a teenager the awareness wasn't there don't judge but I used to wear yellow all the time because I always thought it made me look more tanned and they've got such a massive selection of jeans they've got mom jeans 13 pounds cargo jeans 20 high waist skinny jeans that's probably my kind of go-to uh, comfort zone kind of jeans to be honest dungarees 22 and then lots and lots more high waist skinny it's gonna be a while before I ditch my wanting to wear high waist skinny jeans don't judge me into this kind of casual comfy wear and obviously what am I drawn straight to this beautiful dusky pink that's gorgeous ah and to go with it a beautiful dusky pink hoodie looks like these are eight pounds i love that color oh i haven't seen these before not that i'm going to a hindu or know anyone getting married but team bride sweatshirts for 10 pounds in primark those are great and i've not seen them before but if anyone is looking for something like that tell them they're in primark oh, look at these that's just like a nice round neck oh look at the lilac okay so that's that's not quite a polar neck a higher neck this kind of round neck one i prefer i love that color though right i love that color and that style but it's in the wrong size i love that color but i want it in that style <laughs> is this too much to ask uh right so we've got more of these higher neck ones maybe that one's not from here maybe that's that's what we're dealing with here that color's gorgeous though zara would love that it's her favorite i mean 
you know, for me to wear. It's obviously too big for her. I also really love this turquoise one. Please tell me it's the right neck. Oh, it's not your neck. Oh, I don't want... Ah, oh, never mind. There must be more of these somewhere. We just need to find them. Grey, so that's a full polo neck. I've got to say, I think I'd prefer a full roll-down polo neck to just a little one. Or to, I don't know, maybe I need to try it on. Maybe I had this preconceived idea years ago this style didn't suit me and I've not worn it since. Maybe I need to do a try on. Okay, uh, how much are these anyway? Eight pounds. Where are the rest of these? I like those. Okay, this is V-neck. But it's not that pretty, pretty pink that I liked. Mm, how about navy? Oh, that's a cardigan. I could actually do with a navy jumper. Oh, it's a different style again. Pretty colour though, and too small. So we've got one that's too big and one that's too small. I sound like Goldilocks. I need to find one that's just right. So they've got a lot of these cardigans, but I think I'd prefer just an actual V or round neck jumper to a cardigan. See, I used to have a navy version of the jumper I'm wearing now, but I wore it until it literally disintegrated. So I could do with a replacement for that. Oh, this is pink. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, oh, I think we've got a winner. Right. Question is, what size do I want? Do I want it like a fitted size, in which case I would buy this size, or do I want it oversized? Generally, for tops, I like it sort of fitted. And this jumper's more like a top kind of jumper rather than like a sweatshirt kind of jumper, I think. What do you think? Is that sort of the right size? I think it is, you know. I need to try it on, really, but I can't really be bothered to go into the dressing room, so I think that might be the right size. Oh, and if you're liking that style, which I am, there's also this corally colour. Do I need a corally colour? Can I pull it off a corally colour? Or will it make me look even more sort of anemically pale than I already am? Love that colour, though. Maybe I would like that colour more, independently of that colour. I think maybe, like, next to it. I just think it doesn't go that well, but maybe on its own. What do you think? Hmm, that could work. Or green. Can I can I pull off green? Maybe I like that. These are eight eight pounds, guys. See, that feels like a really nice, sturdy quality for eight pounds. I would say nice cardigans. I'm just not here for cardigans today. I'd like a that colour navy, but in the jumper, please. Hang on, is this similar to what I just picked up, but or different? Uh, this one is twelve pounds. Maybe it's thicker. Definitely feels thicker than the other one. It's not so ribbed, perhaps. Do I prefer this kind? Oh no, now I'm confused. I love the fabric on this. It's a lot bigger. Both of these are apparently the same size. This one feels like knitted like a jumper, but more like oversized like a sweatshirt, I think. I think I prefer the other one, you know. What do we think? This one or the last one? Oh, this is pretty. It's a very low neck. I feel like I might be cold, but such a pretty color. Oh. Also this, this is the same style, isn't it? Love that colour too. As much as I asked for a V-neck, that's very V, isn't it? Like you'd see what you're wearing underneath, underneath the jumper. Not sure how much I'd wear them, but I really like those too. Like obviously you could probably only wear them with bright pink stuff, but they're so cute. And they are size eight, not eight pounds. They are price removed on all shoes. They are an undetermined amount of money. Oh, Primark coats. Now I had a Primark coat probably about 15 years ago, I had it in tan, I've still got it actually, tan and black. Every time I wear that coat, they probably don't have them in anymore, um, but I always get compliments and it was literally a bargain. I think I even had it in the Primark sale, the two of them. So look out through the Primark coats because sometimes you can get some amazing ones, like a dark green one. The one I had was kind of belted and kind of flared out the waist. So it creates like an extra illusion of hourglass silhouette. And I love it to the point where if they had it again, I would buy another one for when that one disintegrates. Okay, pausing filming because the fire alarm's going off, it's gone off and we're being evicted from Primark. But I'm really hoping to go back and find my bag of stuff because I really want to buy the things I picked up. Okay, we we're allowed back in the building after the evacuation. Turns out there was no fire, it was false alarm. Good news. Question is, can I find my basket of stuff that I hung up as instructed? by a shop member, I just sort of stuck it on the end of one of these thingy. Um, because I kind of wanted to buy the bits that I'd chosen. I don't have to go back around finding them all again. Otherwise the haul's gonna be a bit of a sad knob on the haul, isn't it? Ooh, these are nice. Stay focused, Ray. Ooh, is that it? Is that my basket? Is it? Yes, it is, hooray, huzzah. That's my basket. Let's carry on shopping. And the place that we've landed is right by this tiniest baby stuff. Now, I'm aware I no longer have a tiny baby sob sob. But look how gorgeous that is, it's so cute. Is that a newborn? Oh, it looks so, even tinier than newborn. No, see, this is a newborn stage, that's an ought to three. Oh, that's adorable. 
and this little hooded jacket so cute and they've got these little bambi like blanky toy things cute little dusky pink oh adorable beautiful little vests primark really have up the game on all of their newborn and baby stuff oh these blues with thumper these are absolutely gorgeous hopefully someone i know will have a baby soon so that i can buy some of this stuff they've always been pretty good on their like sleep suits and things i definitely used to buy these for my little ones when they needed sleep suits but they've definitely upped their game on the disney baby wear <gasps> Look at this Peter Pan. The second star to the right and straight on till morning. That is so stinking cute. And oh my goodness, it's even got a bib. Uh -oh. oh, look, it's got Big Ben on the back. Little Simba hooded jacket. Oh, is this Yoda? Wow, that is so cute. Oh, we've got a children's Disney 100 collection. This is really cute, but I think this lot probably doesn't go up to William's size. I think I'm probably in the... Yeah, see this size is up to seven to eight stuff. Oh, this is sweet. Look at that denim jacket with a hood. Really like that. I hope they've got some slightly bigger stuff for Will for upcoming trips. Oh my goodness, look at these. Are those not the dinkiest, most gorgeous things you've ever seen? I tell you what, speaking of shoes, I really need to look for what the girls call muffin boots. It's the kind of Ugg style shoes. I've had in Primark before. I really need to find some more of them. I hope they still have them in stock. Oh, wow. The girls would lose their minds over those. <gasps> mini mouse butterfly clips wowza oh my goodness love these too but again i think i'm gonna struggle to get anything big enough for bella she is only eight but she's super tall she's in kind of nine to ten ten to eleven sizes now i'm not sure they'll have this beautiful dress in a size that big super cute glasses though oh hang on we've got girls nightwear that's bigger yeah bella would need a nine to ten original squad that's so cute but then would they have a sm that small enough for zara it's a shame they're in kind of two different age brackets now they probably won't have matching bits this is a really cute nighty love that daisy's mood nighties maybe i could just get a seven to eight for zara which would drown her but it's a nighty so it wouldn't matter oh look at this one six pounds let's be together oh and for all those encanto fans out there that's lovely so two of the sisters and Dolores the cousin oh and slipper socks now these jammies are cute but are these more similar these younger girls not exactly the same but then I guess they don't have to be matching even in jammies we could get just similar I've got to say stocking fellows and things like that you know like little gifts for girls are so much easier to get look at those the girls would lose their minds for those there's never as much stuff to choose from for boys as there little lip glosses and a ice cream a llama lip gloss these do make brilliant like present box bits and pieces for when the girls have got birthday parties to go to but always more difficult to find things for boys look at this i can only see one so i don't think it's supposed to be here but look at this for valentine's day oh 10 pounds now this dress not the fabric so much up close because it's more waffly i don't know but the print is very bowden-esque isn't it don't you think I wonder if we should get those for the girls. Could Bella get away with a seven to eight in that? I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. She's just suddenly gone very, very tall. Seven to eight goes up to 128 centimeters. Ah, see, we measured her and she's now 137 centimeters and no longer needs a car seat. So, nope, that is not going to work. Oh, these are cute. It's like, they even work for school kind of headbands. Found the older boys section and not nearly as much Disney in this section got a bit of marvel will has got that red marvel hoodie he wears a lot which i do prefer to this one actually to the gray it's a black panther t-shirt oh see williams is a bit like that but in red and he wears it a lot that's 12 pounds i wonder if it's worth yeah see if they had that in his size i'd probably get that because he wears his red one and wears it and wears it and wears it and loves it so they've got a lot of this dragon ball stuff he's not into that so that's no good for will there's loads of this minecraft stuff he has got minecraft pajamas but about that for the day not sure no something that william does seem to go through a lot is socks so which socks to get for will oh and this section's always good for picking up bits for parties twister crayons these felt tip pens Sarah had some of these gel pens for her birthday and she's just like one of her favorite things now. The girls always have Primark trainers for our parks trips. And I think the ones they wore to the last trip will still fit them again and they're fine. But how much would they love those? They are like mini iridescent rainbow 
sparkly goodness. They'd love them. These for the Disney 100. Oh, I love those. They're so cute. Also these, mini. Although the pink ones are probably going to be the ones I prefer. Although from a comfort point of view, the girls have basically had these before, but not so iridescent. But wow, they love those. And they've got Encanto ones. I haven't seen those before. They're really sweet. As well as really like these lilac ones. Zara will go mad for those. She loves lilac. And pink. And oh my goodness. Pink, glittery, sparkly wowzer. Although practicality wise, those are good because they've got the Velcro. Easy to get on and off independently. Now these are not quite the muffin boots that the girls had because the muffin boots I was talking about, I don't know even why, know why they call them muffin boots but they do. The muffin boots I was talking about, ah well more like these, like fluffy inside as in they can wear them like eggs without socks so when they're going to karate or swimming or whatever they can just chuck them on. Oh that's a tiny three so that's too small for even Zara. Is that, what size is that really? Four? Is that like a teeny tiny four or like a, yeah that's a teeny tiny. Ah oh, see Zara needs bigger than that and Bella needs bigger than that. Oh dear, because those would be, you know, they, those would work. A few weeks ago, Zara would have lost her mind for that. It's lilac and it's got Cinderella on it. But Cinderella has been booted down to second position. Her favourite princess is now apparently Jasmine. Poor Cinderella. Still love that though. That is six pounds. Very cute little sweatshirt. Oh, why don't I know anyone that's just had a baby that needs a Winnie the Pooh Disney mat? Reduced to 20 pounds. That's so cute. Simba mobile, down to 15. These cubes are like a really cute gift as well. Oh, what a cute photo album. Primark is always doing really well with all the Harry Potter stuff. I actually really like these sheets with like the little bit of detail on them. Those are really sweet. Bambi's making a comeback, isn't she? Or he? Hang on, is Bambi a boy or a girl? A boy? I, oh gosh, I'm not sure. I think Bambi's a boy. Does he grow up to be a king of the deer or something not sure oh good grief guys help me is bambi a boy or a girl hang on what's this little dude from is he from seoul let me see disney pixar yeah is that is that from seoul is that what that thing's called yes i think it is look there's more of them the little guy with the glasses on where he like goes up to be a soul and then he goes back down and there's a cat in it i've got to say that's a film i'm not terribly familiar with but anyway those plushes are down to five pounds they got trolls peppa pig as well oh my lot of slightly beyond Peppa Pig now. Also used to quite like Paw Patrol, but they've got Paw Patrol for anyone still into that. In this travel section, we've got some of these travel pillows. The children wore them to Florida. Well, William has got that one, I think. The girls had like mini Mouse ones that I can't see right now, but they are quite good travel pillows. They've also got a good selections of stickers, locks, ear plugs and in fact this is a must i've got one of these from primark it's brilliant only mine's pink luggage scales so important for weighing your cases to make sure that your stuff is distributed evenly and you don't get charged for excess baggage oh well, this laptop stand looks quite good look because you can have it like raised up but also for like put away mode that's cool how cute are all these key rings we've got mickey 100 with the letters different Disney characters with all the carabiner that's really handy and then they've got Harry Potter marble and down to like non-Disney oh look is that the Rugrats oh my goodness Bella would lose her mind it's a chip mug she's obsessed with Beauty and the Beast and look at that Mrs Potts teapot wow well these are cute too look Encanto drinks bottles they're quite a good size they're bigger than like the teeny ones and not as big as as the full 500 mil so they're like quite a good size for bags like those oh and look at this magic awaits you i know when we're traveling these power banks we haven't got these exact ones but these are 10 pounds that's a pretty good price i think these power banks are so handy for charging phones headphones devices whatever it might be honestly even if you're out for the day with children i can highly recommend these they've got them in pink and black I literally spend all day in here but i now need to find the tail pay and get out of here so I can get home and show you what I bought in the haul. Home now, but it is in fact the next day because I ran out of time to film the haul yesterday. So if you want to see what I bought in Primark, you can click over here to watch the haul just as soon as that is live. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and click over to that video because that is where we're looking at what I bought. See you guys soon.